And I have the next bit robin here that I want to unbox. It's funny because just a few days ago I was commenting on social media how I'm getting kind of bored with the smartphone industry. There really hasn't been a lot of new stuff lately. Smartphones to me have been getting to be all the same and looking all the same, functioning all the same, except for some different skins and maybe some different camera functions and features. So. I was happy to be contacted to take a look at the Nextbit Robin, and actually you guys, when I asked you on social media, commented about the Nextbit Robin as well. So I just want to unbox this today, and then I'm going to be doing my review as soon as I can. So this is a phone that works around cloud storage. So instead of having SD cards or worrying about having internal storage that runs out, this phone is able to offload your pictures, videos, and applications onto the cloud and you can go about your merry way with everything that you need on your phone, and then you can restore those back onto the phone from the cloud, and everything is backed up. You don't have to restore your application settings, nothing like that. So I thought that that was pretty cool. And this has been created by a lot of Android pioneers. The specs on this phone are definitely up to par. So let's go ahead and just open this up. Got this cute little box. Let's make sure that the exposure isn't too high here. So opening this up, let's just start with the front thing. Hey Ribble, meet Robin. And I think this is adorable, this packaging that they have here. A couple little pages. Robin never runs out of space. How? When Robin is charging and connected to Wi-Fi, that's the default by the way, you can actually make it so it's not on Wi-Fi and back up. It backs up all your apps and photos to the cloud. Cute. When you need more space, Robin archives the stuff you never open. When you want to restore something that's been archived, tap to open it like you normally would. Robin will bring it back from the cloud right away. Now you've got plug Robin in to charge it. It's got USB type C. Now I looked at the Reddit and it looks like it supports Quick Charge 2.0. So you've got a SIM card ejection tool. You've actually got a fingerprint sensor on here too. I was pretty excited about that. And I love this color. I think they call this mint. So next, now. So on here they've got this plastic film and they're a little bit snippy, kind of cutely sarcastic. This is a speaker, obviously. Thank you, next bit, for pointing that out to me. I don't think I could have figured it out. Then at the bottom it says, this is a speaker too, not a home button. It's funny though, because I had my husband touch it and the first thing he did, being an iPhone person, was try to press on what he thought was a home button. So it's a bit snippy, but it isn't unwarranted anyway. And we've got the USB-A to USB-C. This is the cable that it comes with. Unfortunately, you do not have a charging brick with this. That's something you're going to need to get separately. A little upsetting, but not too bad. And then you've got your little SIM ejection tool that looks like the cloud. So let's just take off the wrapping then. This is a polycarbonate body and it's very, very thin. I like how this feels in the hand. This is something that looks different, feels different, functions differently than things I've seen lately, hence why I'm excited. On the back here, we have a 13 megapixel camera, dual LED flash. We have our little cloud icon. And when this is uploading things to the cloud, these little buttons will light up, these little LEDs, and that's very, very cute. You're not disturbed in any way of what's going on, but you can turn it over and see that it is indeed working. And I, I like that, nice touch. Next bit, this nice mint green color. On the side we have this fingerprint scanner and we have our SIM tray. Now this phone, there's a GSM version and also a CDMA version. You're going to be able to have LTE that works perfectly fine on AT&T and T-Mobile and there's also one that's going to be for Verizon and Sprint so you will have LTE available and you will be able to use this uh, whether it's a GSM or a CDMA network so that's nice. Plus it's unlocked so you don't have to worry about where to take it or where you can use it. We have a 5 megapixel camera on the front. This looks like a proximity sensor ambient light sensor. As for the battery, it's locked in. We have a 2,680 milliamp hour battery. Now, if you're worried about this whole cloud thing ruining battery life for you, by default, 
it's meant to back up only when it's plugged in and only when it's on Wi-Fi. So by default, you're not wasting your data and you're not wasting battery power. So it tries to keep those things in mind. On the left-hand side, we have these two volume buttons. On the bottom is USB Type-C. We have a microphone and we also have an LED light indicator. So that will be for notifications, some CE information. On the top is a microphone and a standard headphone jack. So I'm excited to start using this. Next bit, Robin. Very cute name, by the way. So if you didn't catch this before, obviously these are front-facing stereo speakers. They have two separate drivers. On the front is a 5.2 inch IPS LCD display. This is covered with Gorilla Glass 4. So this is all very up to date. This has the Snapdragon 808 SoC inside of it. We've also got NFC. I don't see an NFC logo, but that is definitely in the specs. So we have three gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigabytes of internal storage, but you get 100 gigabytes of cloud storage, and that's going to exist forever for you. You're not gonna have to pay for a subscription or anything. That is part of the phone. That is part of the operating system's integration. So here is that fingerprint scanner. It looks to work really well. Very happy about that. I'm going to be very curious to go out and about and see how the camera works. Phones need to have a good functioning camera to me. That's very, very important. It has the ability to film in 4K, just like all the other flagships. So it's got a lot of really great bells and whistles here. The interface is very simple. This has Marshmallow on it, and Nextbit says that this is going to be getting the newest updates as quickly as they possibly can. So it's going to be a very well-supported phone. You do have a little bit of a skin on here, so the launcher isn't completely stock. You don't have an app drawer, although that's not so much a problem, just put a different launcher on here. But when you pinch, this is where you're going to have access to your widgets. So it's a, a little bit different. It's something I need to take some time to get used to. So you can see here that on this home screen, we've got some applications that look grayed out, or they call these ghosts. These are applications that have been archived. If I touch on one, it's going to restore it right away for me. And all of my app settings and everything are going to be restored as well. So I find that to be extremely cool. If you don't want an app to be archived, you can just drag downward like this and it's going to pin it so it can't be taken away from you. And here you can click on your archived apps. So you can see the grayed out ones. You can get to your pinned apps and then all applications I'm very excited to take a look at this. I'm going to take this around as my daily driver for so many days, and then I will get into the full review. Now, of course, you guys are going to be wondering what the cost of such a phone is. It looks like it's going to retail for $399. It should be sent out to some of their Kickstarter backers quite soon, if that's not happening already. And I'm just going to put a link in the description so that you can get to their website so that you can keep up on availability for the future. Right, this will definitely be a priority for me to review. I will be heading out to Mobile World Congress on the 18th. So this is going to start me off with one of the first phones I'm reviewing of the year. And then of course we have the new Samsung phone and the new LG phones that are coming out. I'll take a look at those. So there's going to be a lot of stuff going on. Please leave your comments in the comment section below. Ask me your questions. Ask me what you want to know about this phone. This is a really nice, slim feeling, very sturdy, light, but robust feeling phone. Very different, very interesting. Let me know what you think and have a good day, you guys.